In this video, we shall discuss how to prepare branch accounts under Debtors methods when goods are sent at invoice price. I will be explaining the format and a solved problem. Okay. Now, I have already uploaded a video which explains how to prepare branch account under Debtors method when goods are sent at cost price. And also another video which explains preparation of branch account under Stock and Debtors method. The link I have given it in the description box. Now let's move on to this video. Okay, this is the format of a branch account when goods are sent at invoice price. This format which I have given you here is same as that of the format which I have given you for cost price. The, I have explained this format in that video. If you did not watch that video, go watch that video and come back for a better understanding. So the same format only I have taken. In the debit side, the first entry is to balance brought down. We will record all opening assets. I have given a few examples of opening assets here. Then we will record goods sent to branch. We will record all expenses paid by the head office. We will record closing liabilities in the debit side. In the credit side, we will record opening liabilities, cash sales, cash collected from debtors, goods returned to head office and all closing assets. So this is similar to the cost price problem. Now what, what additional entry we are going to give here is here the head office is sending goods to the branch office at invoice price. Invoice price means what? Invoice price means selling price. The branch is the head office is sending goods to the branch office at its selling price. That means the opening stock the goods sent to branch, the closing stock and the goods returned to head office. All these information, all these amount are recorded at selling price. If we are recording these values in the selling price, we will not be able to arrive at the true profit or loss. So what we have to do, we have to remove the profit element from the selling price. We have to remove the profit portion. For this, we have to calculate stock reserve. So that is the additional entry that we are going to give here. So how to give that additional entry? Okay, for this closing stock, to remove, to remove the profit portion from this closing stock, this is in the credit side, to remove the profit element here, we have to give a debit entry. So to stock reserve. This stock reserve we are calculating for closing stock because we have to reduce the profit element from this value. We have to reduce this value. It is in the credit side. To reduce it, we are giving a debit. Okay, then goods returned to head office. This is again in the credit side. We have to reduce, eliminate the profit portion from it. So we are giving a debit to loading on what on goods returned goods returned write the amount in the amount column then opening stock we are recording it on the debit side from this we have to remove the profit if we have to reduce it you have to give a credit by stock reserve this stock reserve we are calculating for opening stock write the amount in the amount column in the same way for goods sent to branch we have to reduce the profit portion so we are giving a credit by loading by loading on goods sent to branch write the amount in the amount column so the additional entries that we are giving is we are calculating stock reserve. For now I have taken an example. This is the question that I have taken. Sun Limited opened in 1996 a branch at Madurai. It invoiced goods to the branch at cost plus 25 percentage. Prepare accounts for the year 1996. Goods sent to branch at invoice price is given. Cash sent to branch for expenses. Sales, cash sales, credit sales is given, cash received from debtors is given, bad debts written off is given, 
stock on 31st December at invoice price is given. So here all the values are at invoice price. So by this word only we understand that this is an invoice price problem. And again this profit portion cost plus 25 percentage is given. So we understand that this is an invoice price problem. Now we have to first prepare branch debtors account. I already told you in my cost price video we have to prepare branch debtors account and branch debtors account is an asset. So if the value of asset increases we will debit it. If the value of asset decreases we will credit this account. Okay so we have to start the branch debtors account. We don't have any opening balance of debtors because the branch is started only in the year 1996. We are recording for the first year. So we won't have the opening balance. Then goods sent to branch. This does not affect the branch debtors account. Cash sent to branch for expenses. This again will not affect our account. Cash sales also will not affect branch debtors account. Credit sales. Credit sales will increase the value of debtors. So I am recording it in the credit side, in the, sorry in the debit side. The amount is 23,000. So we have recorded credit sales. Then cash received from debtors. Our debtors are paying cash. If the debtors pay cash what happens? The value of debtors will be reduced. So I am recording it in the credit side by cash. What is the amount that is paid? It is 20,000 rupees. Okay. The next is bad debts written off. So we have decided that a few debtors will not pay us. We have to write off them. If we are writing off debtors, it will reduce the value of data. So I am recording it in the credit side by bad debts. 600 rupees. Okay. In the account. The total is 23,000, 23,000 on both the sides. Now let's find the balancing figure. Balancing figure is 2,400. This will be your closing balance by balance carried down. This will be your balancing figure. So we have calculated the closing balance of debtors. Okay. Now let us prepare branch account. So I have given the title Madurai branch account. In the debit side we will start with the opening assets. But since this is a new branch this is started this year only we will not have any opening balance of assets. Look in the question we don't have any opening balance. The next item that we will record is two goods sent to branch. Okay. After recording goods sent to branch we have to record Expenses. See in the question it is given as cash sent to branch for expenses is 8000. Okay. After recording expenses we have to record closing liabilities. In this problem we don't have closing liabilities. So I am moving on to the credit side. The credit side first entry is opening liabilities. We don't have opening liabilities. So we have to record by cash. We have to record cash sales and cash collected from debtors. We have recorded cash sales and cash received from debtors and we are bringing the total to the outer column. It is 42,000. Then we have to record goods returned. Look into the question. Do we have any goods returned? Goods sent to branch is given. Cash sent to branch. Cash received. Closing stock. No, we don't have any goods returned. So we are recording closing balance of assets. Before recording closing balance of assets, we have to calculate reserve. We have to eliminate the profit portion. We have to calculate stock reserve. How to calculate stock reserve? Okay, go back to the question. In the question, it is given as the profit is cost plus 25 percentage. It is given as cost plus 25 percentage. So we are assuming that cost is equal to 100. If cost is 100, how much profit is added? Profit is 25 percentage. So profit is 25. So what will be the selling price? Selling price will be the cost price plus profit. So it is 125. Okay, since it is given as cost plus 25, I am taking cost as 100. Profit is 25. So what is the selling price? Selling price is 125. Based on this, we are going to calculate stock reserve. See first we will calculate closing stock reserve. I am writing it in the debit side. 
Okay, now we have to calculate stock reserve for closing stock. How much is the closing stock? See, look into the question. It is 4,800. So, I am writing 4,800 into what is the selling price? This 4,800 is at what price? It is at invoice price. So, the denominator should be invoice price. Invoice price means what? Invoice price is nothing but selling price. So, how much is the selling price? Selling price is 125. Okay. Now, what answer do we want? We want to remove the profit portion. So, what is the profit proportion that we have calculated? It is 25. So, 25 divided by 125. I will explain this once again. This value, this 4800 is what price? It is invoice price. That is selling price. So, in the denominator also, we should write selling price. See, the selling price is 125. In the numerator, you have to write the answer. What answer we want? We want to know the profit only. How much is the profit that is included? So, the profit is 25. So, in the numerator, I am writing 25. Calculate this. The answer that you get is 960. 960 rupees is the profit that has been added in the closing stock. Now, in the same way, let us calculate for goods sent to branch. We are calculating loading on goods sent to branch. How much is the goods sent to branch? Look into the question. It is 50,000. So, 50,000 into what is the selling price? This 50,000 is in the selling price. So, in the denominator, we have to write the selling price. In the numerator, we want to know the profit. The profit is 25. So, 25 divided by 125. Thing that we get is 10,000 rupees. We don't have opening stock in this question. So, we are not calculating stock reserve for opening stock and we don't have any goods returned. So, we are not doing that. Now, let us record the closing balance. By recording the closing balance, stock closing balance of stock is given in the question. Closing balance of debtors, we have calculated. So, I have taken this. Now, let us find the total. We have recorded the balance, uh, closing balance of assets. Closing balance of stock is given in the question. Closing balance of debtors I have taken down from my calculation. So, the total is 7200. Now, tally your ledger accounts. If your credit side is 59,200. This is the highest total. So, I am recording it on both the sides. 59,200. Figure is 240. This will be transferred to general profit and loss account. To general profit and loss account within bracket balancing figure. Hope you, you understood how to calculate stock reserve and how to prepare branch account when goods are sent at invoice price. Thank you for watching.